Besides that, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of liking this Nets talk, and I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I thought the Knicks talk was getting too hot, mm. and I thought <clears> it was making me too uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, when you, when you talk to someone... <laughs> it was, man. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed by it, for real. I'm not going to lie. When, when, yeah, when you tell somebody you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, every instinct in your body wants you to do the opposite thing just because you don't want to be told what you're going to do, right? So I'm actually kind of like happy that this Knicks talk has died down a little bit. There's no, like, this Nets talk, I'm really not scared of this Nets talk. I, I, you know, I don't think they have anything, any advantage over the Knicks in anything besides how they played last year, which means nothing, you know. Um, and and my thing, too, a, is, and, and sorry um, to, not to cut you off, Ari, my thing, too, about the Nets is that yeah. they still have to renounce a lot of their players. So if you're going to tell me that you're going to cut half right. the team that you made the playoffs with and you're still left with, okay, Dinwiddie, nice play, I like him. Levert, nice play, I like him. Joe Harris, nice. And, I mean, Jared Allen, I mean, is it that much crazier than, than what we could be building here? Nah. It's a good team, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be, not, they, you know, I'm not trying to discredit what they are, but uh, if you have to give away half your team, to, to make it happen, I, I don't see how much greater they can be than, than we can. Right, and it's also also like, you know, everybody always talks about, like, oh, how incompetent the Knicks front office is. Let's not forget that the Brooklyn Nets gave seven draft picks away to the Boston Celtics for old-ass Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett, all yeah. right? So it's like they also paid Alan Crabb $17 million, mm-hmm. had to basically give up two first-round draft picks just to get out of Alan Crabb's deal. They have no assets in the future. Karis Levert's getting paid two and a half million dollars right now. Next year, or in a year, I think he has a team option, or in a year or two, he's going to get paid a lot more than that. That's going to eat up a lot of their salary cap. So the argument that Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Nets have no no advantage over the Knicks. The only advantage the Brooklyn Nets have over the Knicks is if you're afraid of the media and you don't want to get ripped if you lose. Then maybe you go to Brooklyn. Um, I think it's a coward's move, personally. There we go. Um, but you know, that's just my, that's just that's just my opinion. You, you, and I don't, I do not see Kevin Durant in any sh- way, shape, or form going to the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, the guy seems to be so sensitive. If he comes to the Nets, if he comes to the Nets, his own city is going to hate him because everybody's a Knicks fan. You know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, CP Jazz, you know any Nets fans over the age of 15? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in all fairness, I, I know a few, man, but I just, I can't, I can't respect that move, man. I can't I, respect yeah. that move, man. No, yeah, it's, it's yo, KD, happen. you're right, though, I don't man. think it's going to happen. I don't know. I can't you're right. Man. You're right. If KD goes to the Nets, the trolling he'll get from Knicks fans is going to be crazy. Yeah. They, they won't hear the Oh, end forget about it. Yeah, and also the the thing like I said on Stephen A on Friday, people and I'll get off the phone right after this, but mm-hmm. you know the, the there's more like there's more to the pitch than just you know Manhattan, the Garden, you know pave your own legacy. Like out of all the teams that have two max free agent spots open, I think it's us, the Clippers, and the Nets. We're the only one with seven draft picks and young talent to basically yep. build around these players in the subsequent years. That's and a third pitch, pick. right? Mm-hmm. So it's not just about where you're playing; it's about winning, and that's the end of it. So I don't think I think Knicks fans, we got to just relax. Um, I don't think we should be putting out this negative energy about Dolan. I don't know what Stephen A's doing. Oh yeah, that's about crazy. James man. Dolan, Mikhail Pro. Mik- Mikhail Prokhorov, the owner of the Nets, has probably killed people. He's a Russian oligarch. No one's talking <laughs> no. about it. No one cares about the Nets. Just, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what are we? What are we talking about? Yo, like, this is my guy, just chill man. And just let the process happen. There we go, Ari. Ninja Appreciate P. you, bro. Let, we'll do yeah, trust man. the Nishapi. There we no go, problem, man. Guys. Appreciate it, man. That, that is Ari, the resident uh, uh, attorney. Yeah. Slash. Man. Uh, you know, voice of reason for the fan base. That's that's my. We should that's have like a call today or something, yo. 